CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Pretty disappointed, uh, obviously, with the result today. Yeah, really disappointed. Um, we thought coming in today that it was still a good shot, even though we had we were about five down or whatnot, but we really thought we were going to win it today, so really disappointing. How were you approaching it at the end there? Um, just obviously trying to stay on strike, but then you must have thought, oh, I've got to put some runs on here, so it must have been between in between, I yeah, there was a point sort of where that, that sort of changed. We bat really deep, um, so I had full confidence in the batters around me. Um, that there was a point there when I thought, well, we're not going to last a few hours out here, so we're going to need to get this run rate going. And unfortunately, in doing that, lost my wicket. But um, we, we gave it a, a decent shot. What about the top order collapses in both innings? You were five down for not many runs. I mean, how crucial was that in the end result? Yeah, it was really crucial, but. Um, equally, they, our bowlers did a great job and we had them in trouble early too. So um, I guess both top orders didn't really perform and in the end you know, it came down to a couple of partnerships that they got going yesterday that probably won in the game. But there's not a lot of difference and our girls will be looking forward to the one days and the opportunities in the T20s. You need to win five of the next six now. How tough is that going to be? That's tough, but we can do it. Six from six will be good. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, this is the only game that you're likely to play in the series. You're not in the, the other squad. Uh, you know, how much did you want to get out there and, and actually score those those runs today? And was it frustrating as you kept seeing your partners just not able? To win? Yeah, I yeah. Test matches are the only format that I'm playing, so I really wanted to get in there. That's what I'm in the team to do: is to bat for long periods of time and 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 make runs. So unfortunately, I couldn't do my job today, and that, that let the team down. Or in the first innings, let the team down. But yeah, really wanted to win, and really disappointed not to have. Was it that last hour yesterday, I guess, that really cost the team in the end? Yeah, I guess so. Um, uh, we still thought we had it today, though. We still had uh, five wickets in the shed, and our, we bat really deep, so we still thought we had it. Um, a couple of little partnerships with them got going yesterday, and that helped them, um, and unfortunately, we just couldn't get the job done today. How tough has it been over the Test match, obviously, with the extreme heat and that sort of thing? Yeah, it's been. It's actually been good. I've enjoyed it, having spent a few years in Darwin, the heat's been okay and I think that our girls are really fit and we're probably better suited to the hot conditions so I think the heat's following the girls to Melbourne and Hobart and wherever else they go so I think we'll play into our favour. Did you and Elise go out with a plan to be aggressive at the start there to sort of put pressure on them, back on them or was it just the balls you were getting you were just hitting them? Yeah we just wanted to play our games so um, naturally we both like to, to drive and, and they gave us some balls to do that and um, we just a really positive mindset from ball one and, and we really did have a good partnership there and unfortunately couldn't couldn't keep going with it. I wonder if you have any thoughts on the, the point system obviously six points is a huge amount and as you said it leaves you needing to win five out of six. Do you think maybe that's a bit too much waiting on the test? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I, I think um, the two teams will probably review the system, but it, it seems to be fair. You know, we only play one test match, so it's really tough to make the Ashes based solely on that, although I'd love to see that. I'd love to see a few more test matches in and really fight it out, because for me, test cricket's sort of what it's really about, and that's where you see, you know, this has been a fantastic game with it's ebbed and flowed, and each team would have thought they're on top, and, and it's been really exciting to play at the Wacker. Some, you know, fantastic display of the girls' skills. The catching from both teams was unbelievable. So those sort of things, you know, an extra couple of tests, I think, would be good. Do you have a figure on that? How many would you like to see test-wise? Oh, I don't know. Three would be good. I reckon three would be good. That kind of is a fair. Five's a long time, and obviously there's a lot of resources and things that go into playing test cricket, but I don't know. I'm just speaking from my test bias here. Yeah. But. <laughs> So, have you seen many better individual performances than the one that Elise has put out there? You know, eight wickets, 102 runs. She's a fantastic player. She really is across all formats of the game, and it was really nice to see her. Um, she's a fantastic batter, and I think people miss that sometimes in with her bowling. She's she's amazing, and she really showed today in both innings. She really guts it out. Um, fantastic to see the way she went about both batting and bowling. Sometimes the danger that because she is so good that, that maybe the team can rely on her to, to dig them out at, at certain periods in the game with bat and ball? I don't think so. Um, I think we've got a really even group across the board. So I think our bowlers, our bowling group bowled really well. Having Renee Farrell back in, Holly Furling's really exciting, still really young and um, full of enthusiasm, which is great and nicely balanced there with Aussie spinning the ball. Yeah, and we've got a great batting lineup as well. So I don't think we rely on, on Pez too much, but we always like to see her do well.